Janet Evans, the legend USA swimmer who is here in Beijing. And she's just going to give us a little bit of a taste of her perspective of the Olympics and what's been going on. So first of all, Janet, what, what are you doing in life now and what are you doing here? Well, I'm here in Beijing with the Speedo team. Um, cheering on our athletes wearing the laser racer and having a great time. I am still swimming on my own very slowly, not competitively. Um, I don't wear a laser racer when I swim, too hard to get on. But um, swimming just for fitness and I'm home. I have a little girl who's almost two years old, so I'm, I'm busy with her as well. I am doing a little bit of media. I am writing columns for Yahoo every day about the swimming. I'm doing some work with other corporate sponsors like McDonald's, but mostly at the pool cheering on the Speedo athletes. So, talking of the Speedo athletes, first of all, I suppose we've just come from the final session. Michael Phelps winning eight gold medals. What do you think about that? How, how are you feeling with it? Well, I thought he was incredible, and my favorite race of his was the 100 meter butterfly uh, because he won that just by the narrowest of margins. And it's the second Olympics in a row where he's won the 100 butterfly by one one hundredth of a second. So, I thought that was pretty incredible. I was very proud of him. I'm proud of him for dealing with the pressures. My first Olympics, I was 17. I had turned 17 the week before the games began, and I was swimming three individual races. And you know, I was a world record holder, but I was a kid. I was 17 years old, and and people didn't expect that much of me because I'd never really swum on the international level. And how was I going to do against the rest of the world? So I was able to kind of fly under the radar screen and not have to deal with that pressure because you know, if I did well, it was fantastic. But if I didn't do well, hey, I was just a 17 year old kid who didn't know any better. So I had the best of both worlds at my first Olympics in Seoul. Yeah. So talking of young kids swimming really well. I a British girl's just broken your, your record. 19 years old that record was. Tell us how that feels you know, in terms of for yourself, are you disappointed or is it great? Well, you know, I certainly was not disappointed. Records are meant to be broken. I was so happy that I could be here uh, to watch it fall. Um, 19 years is a long time. It's aging me. Um, I think my husband told me he read an article that she was six months old when I broke that record. And actually, I'd broken that record two years beforehand and rebroke it in 89. So, she, but when I first broke that record, she wasn't even born yet. So I think it feels good to know that my record stood for so long, especially against the assault on all the record books by the laser racer. Uh, so, so it was an honor for me. I was happy to be there. I was, you know, I would love to meet Rebecca and congratulate her on an incredible, amazing swim. And I also uh, would have loved to have seen an American in the race. So that was the only, the only disappointment for me about the 800 freestyle here in Beijing was that it wasn't an American breaking that record. So tell us how her life's going to change a little bit. You know, what, what happened for you and what, what do you think is going to happen for her? Well, I think as an Olympic uh, champion, it is an obligation of ours to spread the word about the Olympic movement, to inspire other people. Um, and hopefully Rebecca will take that, um, take that theory and, and really run with it. And I also don't know if she's going to continue swimming. So if she continues to, continues to swim, she'll be able to kind of block out all the peripheral stuff and continue her training. I believe she should keep swimming. She just has kind of burst onto the scene and it will be fun to see how fast she can swim. Of course swim. she's got the London 2012 Olympics, so she's likely to want to go swim in yes, her home country. Of course. And I can imagine that she will be the face of the London Olympics. So hopefully she'll keep swimming. Hopefully we'll see great swims from her in the next four years. And I think she'll be able to handle it perfectly. Tell us what you think. Why didn't Katie Hoff and Kate Ziegler, what, what, what do you think? Do you know? Have you found out why they, they didn't quite perform? Because I think I expected them to go real well here. Yeah, you know, I was I was a little disappointed for our women's team. I think we could have swum better. It um, actually was our worst performance in an Olympic game since the 1976 Montreal Games on the American side for the women. Um, so that was a little bit disappointing. But, um, you know, I think our, we had our Olympic trials for the United States just about four to five weeks ago. And I think our women weren't able to kind of get through the excitement of that, reset their goals and refocus on, on the game. Of course, here. I think in actual fact, maybe the Australians might say the same about their women not performing as well as they'd like to. I mean, Stephanie Rice did fantastic fantastic with the three golds but it seems like the spread of medals has gone across the world now is that how you see the how have the Olympics changed for you over the years you've been to how many now well I, I swam in three Olympics this is my ninth Olympic Games which I have attended so I have seen the Olympic Games change and I I do think in terms of swimming when I was in my first Olympics it was the Americans and the East Germans and the Australians to an extent and now it is a worldwide sport there are athletes from all over you know a gentleman from Tunisia won the gold medal today in the 1500 meter freestyle. Uh, so it is a worldwide sport, it's a global sport, and I think that speaks volumes for how popular our sport has become.
How, how have you found Beijing and, and the city? Have you been before? I have never been to Beijing. I have been to Shanghai, um, but I love Beijing. I went to the Great Wall yesterday, and it was a beautiful day. The sky was clear, and been to the Forbidden City and a few other sites. And I obviously um, think they're doing a great job here with the Olympic Games. The opening ceremonies were unbelievable. Unbelievable! Um, very, very memorable um, in terms of the all the best that opening ceremony. Do you think? I think it was an incredible opening ceremony, and I was so very blessed to receive a ticket and to be able to go watch. And I think it set this Olympics off on a right foot. And I think that they're doing a great job. Anything that you'd say about the, the laser race as a whole, taking swimming forward, though, it seems to have, doesn't it? Yeah, I think the laser racer has taken swimming forward. It'll be interesting to see um, what Speedo comes up with for London in 2012 and how much faster the world records get. So that's all exciting. Thank you very okay, much for welcome, joining us. you're welcome, James. That's Thank cool. you.